worse still. Yeah. And everyone writes him off. I don't think many people believe. And then they see someone like Nick C playing him, and they're like, wow, he's crazy. I feel like every character has a player that's just built different. Like Adamus with D2D, um, like Nick C with um, Captain Falcon. And everyone else, like Captain Potential, takes so much effort and like years and years of training. But I do think, yeah, I agree, like there's some stuff in the tank that both these characters haven't really tapped into yet. Yeah, no, for sure. Already we're seeing we're seeing them box each other really Ooh. well. And I think that's actually Death, El Shudo. Wow, great movement at the start. Speaking of unexplored characters, what do you think about Jigglypuff as a whole? Um, I think over the last year or so, a lot of all my Jigglypuffs have been putting in uh, some work, like Base Mage and Hungry Box have been doing amazing, leveling up this character. And I think other Jigglypuffs are following suit. Again, underexplored, and I think this character might have some stuff to surprise us in the future. Yeah, no, for sure. I like the way that Shudo kind of stayed off stage just a little bit, just to kind of bait out the options. Ooh, doesn't able to follow the tech roll. Let's see what he can do next. Yeah, meanwhile, Ooh. yep, JX Jungle's looking for that four days. Down air, down air, down air, but one of the fallbacks of Jigglypuff is that it takes a while to get back to that ledge, especially from below. Oh, don't burn your jump there again. Okay, oh, super back. close, yeah. But these, these aerials from, from both these players, are they're utilizing it super, super well. So let's see, once again, Shudo has the advantage, but Junk going to be able to grab him up, send him up for a little bit, but nothing else to combo off of it. Yeah, but meanwhile, uh, Junk finds one down air, almost leads into another, and all these down airs all finding the mark. Nice, all, all, nice tag on the back air. Oh, we just, yep, we just got word from the back that we've been casting the entire... Uh, Entire set wrong so far, but that's okay. So Shudo is the Falcon, and JX Junk is the Jigglypuff. Oh my God, he almost just ran right into that up smash, Jadon. Yeah, that could have been awful indeed. Oh, and that forward smash just not quite connecting. Oh. And here comes the interception. Let's see if I can get this edge guard going. Narrowly avoids that knee, and come here, give me a hug. Give yep. me a hug. I love that. I love that phrase. I use it all the time too. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Once again, last dog on Jigglypuff here, but like that's super surprising knowing how close this game actually started in the favor of Jigglypuff. Gonna nair out into the dash attack. Down smash, interesting. All right, nothing follow up. Oh, goes for the downer again. I feel like me would have done something, but that up smash call out was crazy, J Dog. That was crazy. Absolutely, Eric. I feel like everyone watching just kind of reeled back in their chair. Yes. Like, there is not an uh, unraised eyebrow in this menu after that up smash. Charged for days, but Jigglypuff ha like, likes to float over people. Yep. And Douglas J. Falcon's up smash is pretty huge. Go to Yoshi's. You know what stage I haven't seen all day and I'm very thankful for it? Kalos. That stage sucks. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's There are a lot of polarizing counterpick stages. I'm not a big fan of Kalos myself either. I don't think anyone is. Yeah. If you're a fan of Kalos, what are you doing, man? Yeah. I mean, taking people there, I guess. But Yoshi's, yep, you called it. Going straight there. All right, here we go. Let's see exactly how everything's going to pan out here. Once again, Shudo now on the Falcon. If I can get a confirm on that and from the back, just want to make sure. This guy's going to watch this set over and be like, man, they casted me wrong the entire time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But yeah, right now, the Falcon is just doing Falcon things, bobbing and weaving, and nice raptor dive in. Ooh, that. Oh, God, in the face. It's all face. <laughs> Ooh, okay, the hug. Good tech, though, able to come back onto stage. And still, whoa, okay, got a little creative. All right, let's see what this edge guard is. Brutal <laughs> spike right there. No chance of Diang in for that tech. Uh, that Jigglypuff was absolutely done for. Ready, here we go. Once again, the neutral between both of these players has been really good. I think uh, Junk needs to realize, hey, you know what? Like, I'm, I may need to pick better approaches here. The thing, I don't necessarily agree with J-Dog, but let's see what he can get off of it. A lot of throws from Falcon, which we don't usually see. Yeah, Shudo's looking like uh, he's moving wild left, right, and center, and getting parries as well. Okay, waking up to every single option that's being thrown out, and that's the thing that flusters players sometimes. When you can't get in, can't get any fast of your game plan going, oh, it's not a good look. Not a good look, Lear. All right, here we go. Last stock already. Golden percent on Falcon. That'll be taken away from me real quickly. Oh, God. I feel like the downer here was trying to gimp him there, but fortunately, no one's going to be home. you got to watch that. Oh, uh -oh. no. Uh -oh. What are you doing? You're Are you mashing rest option? Was that three in a row, Jadon? I think that was three in a row, and that's not a good sign. It's not a good sign for anyone, but when those signs of cracking becomes that obvious, I guess a Captain Falcon, a character who thrives off momentum and fear, yeah, I think we're about to put a bow on it. 
Are you saying that because Jigglypuff wears a bow? Good one, J-Dog. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, right. and no pickup right there. Ah, I mean, do you see this coming back at all, Eric? I do. I, I mean, I can. You know what I mean? I, I feel like if Jigglypuff decides to play just a little bit smarter, I feel like mashing the rest a couple times definitely shows like a sign of like uncertainty. Also trying to rely on a kind of a cheesy option there. But one thing that's not cheesy is Falcon Knee in this game. And, you know, that will hit. Mm. It'll hit and it'll kill you. It'll mm -hmm. kill you. There's so many ways to confirm off it. Or you can just do it raw, too. Just run up in there. And when you have a read on your opponent's aerial movement like that, poor Jigglypuff just had a hard time moving at all. And you can't move as one of the slower ground characters, but fastest air characters, then it's things fall apart very quick. Very, very quickly. But that was also a really good set to start us off. Nice, fast pace. Like you said, you haven't seen any uh, slow pace sets. I saw a couple uh, during my last block, but I'm happy that we're picking up the heat a little bit, especially when, you know, characters are just throwing projectiles on the other side of the stage, and you're just like, go, go hit them, go hit them. But I think we did see our next match step up. I'm not quite sure who they were. I got the glimpse of the back of the head, but one. Th oh. Wham it, man. <laughs> All right, but in the meantime, in between time, we got some bills to pay. We got to keep the lights on. And if you want to help out with that, you can like, follow, subscribe to VG Bootcamp on all of our socials right down there. Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, consistent across all platforms. You know where to find us. Yeah, no, for sure. And once again, if you have that Twitch Prime, it was Gimmer's birthday yesterday. And if you didn't wish Gimmer a happy birthday yesterday, you can give him your Twitch Prime. Uh, it's free once again, but you also it is also still September, so feel free to sub this month for 20% off. I feel like that should have been a slide. I just remember that too. Yeah, me too, actually. Uh, but we got a lot of nice emotes, but we got Wham versus Man. <laughs> oh, man, you're giving us some. <laughs> yeah. All right, you know what? That's the beauty of Fools. <laughs> these names are getting out of pocket, like these tags. I was just thinking the other day, so many players have played Smash across like the last four or five titles. And you gotta be running out of tags. You gotta be. But you still got people like Wham and Man and My favorite player from my re my region is Barrels Charkley. What a <laughs> goat. <laughs> what a goat. I love Barrels Charkley. What a good tag. Yeah. What is the best tag you've heard recently? Um oh man, there was one that I shout out in the match where, you know, just on Tuesday. Um uh, You can do it. it. Oh my You're gosh. You're blanking now that I'm I'm blanking, that I'm, I'm on the spot. No, not like this. <laughs> I'm going to blur it out at some point during the set. Yeah, no, you're just going to just say it. But yeah. there's a lot of execution. Flexecution. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. That's, <laughs> that's actually so a good. great, that's a great tag. But mm. once again, we're going to get started on PS2 is the pick. What do you think about PS2? Do you think it's better or worse than Small Battlefield? Oh. Are you a Small Battlefield believer? I feel like Small Battlefield, I end up getting 